This is Jen from Tremont. She has been here how many years? This is my seventh year. Seventh year. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Okay, <laughs> as you can kind of see, we got a game going on in the background. Jen, can you tell us a little bit about what our chillins are doing back there? Sure. So they are in this, their stream ecology class, and right now they are learning about some adaptations that um, stream creatures have and how they breathe. So this game is called Macroinvertebrate Mayhem. So they're basically trying to figure out, like, in a stream, how many species would kind of determine if it's healthy or not. So right after this, they're going to go head to the creek. Um, they're going to take basically sampling of the creatures that are there. They're also going to take some chemical sampling, dissolved oxygen, um, pH, um, turbidity, and determine the health of the stream that's in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We have Janae right here, and she just got done uh, playing the... Uh, stream uh, ecology game right there as you guys might have saw earlier on some of the video uh, the kids kind of run around each kid played a different uh, a different little critter in the stream so um, Janae how did this game help you learn a little bit more about some of those critters that you'll be studying later well it helped me learn that it's hard for them to like move around especially with all the dangers that they have, excluding people. So that game was pretty fun. What did you learn as far as what, what kind of dangers and how, how, uh, how did you uh, learn how pollution affects these little guys? What are some of the dangers in the pollution? How does that affect them? The population definitely decreases a lot. So it's by like pesticides and fertilizer and stuff in the air. It's, it's pretty bad. Okay. So what were you in this game? You still got yours on. Yeah, I was a... Caddy fish lover or something like okay. that. Okay. Now is that is that a uh, kind of uh, is that a kind of um, critter? Does that insect does that uh, react well to po pollution? I mean, can it endure pollution or is it really sensitive to pollution? I don't think it can. It, it dies pretty easily, like all the all the species did that were mm -hmm. out there. But I survived, so you made you made <laughs> yeah. you were one of them. Okay. Just to give you guys at home a little idea on how this works. Janae, I'm going to ask you to do what you had to do to go across the line and to kind of go through there. So this is one of the things she had to do. Real quick. Go ahead. Right, you had to hop, and then you wiggle, and then you wiggle, and you just do that constantly. So okay, so now easy. doing that, that was pr easy or hard to get across that field? It was extremely hard because I thought I was going to fall or get caught or something horrible. Okay, thanks a lot, Janae.